Where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Neither Valir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Neither Valir city. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. I think that's everything here. Want to get going? Atreus, look ahead. Wow, now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert.
We're looking for Durlin. You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. This isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us an out. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tear! Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. <laughs> Allfather, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. All oh, father. Sir? <gasps> uh... 
Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training puck pockets? You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ein Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Not the first time I've had an Aesir threaten my life. But? Thinking I'd like it to be the last. Impressive statue. That must be the statue Dutland was talking about. His hammer must be nearby. Dutland's hammer. Still in one piece after all this time. Unlike Dutland's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. <sighs> you again. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks! Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. Huh. Never expected to see this thing again. Derlin. Kratos! Sorry about earlier. Talking about your wife like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Ah, if you say so. You spoke of resistance. Instead, you drink. Oh, I've got plans that you know nothing about. Coming together as we speak. Meantime, I don't plan on my soul parts floating to Alfheim stone cold sober. When the Aesir ran me through, I'd rather be too hammered to feel it. You are staring. You're a tough man not to stare at. If the dwarves had your strength, Odin would have never gotten as far with this place as he did. My strength has little to do with my body. Yeah, sure. 
Derlin. Are you to thank for the newfound fresh air sliding up our nostrils? We turned off the mining rigs. So you did. Let's pretend you did so in a manner consistent with the 97 part safety regulations handbook written specifically for the operation, maintenance and deactivation of said mining equipment. Do what you will. Hm. Well, thanks anyway. Means a lot. Oh, guess what? While Odin was giving me a tour, his ravens took us to Svartalfan, and I saw Derlin again. He was actually trying to do his job. We pretended not to recognize each other. Well, at least I think he was pretending. The point is, it looked like Odin didn't know anything about Derlin helping us find Deer. Triss, I saw Derlin again too. After we forged the spear, Odin appeared. He had Derlin with him, threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. Man, he really is a good liar. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some. Paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
Sentry. Black was. It's bigger the more you take away. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or what have you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. Ugh. Rev, pass some security already. Odin is gone. So they say. Hence the state of teetotal imperfection you see before you. The man before you is as sober as the day he was born. You are still drinking. This is goat's milk. It is brown. It was an ugly goat. Look, the point is, it actually happened. A man lives with a boot on their face long enough, they lose hope their cheeks will ever feel the same. None of us ever really thought we'd get rid of Odin. That we did, and that you helped. Well, it's not something anyone's likely to forget. Thank you. Yeah, well. Same to you. <laughs>